Okay, what we're going to show you here is how to crop a picture. The easiest way to do it, or the most old-fashioned way that I've done it, is I just hit the print screen button on my keyboard. So I want to, I want to hit this medium business 780M 7PA and click here. I want this box cropped and put into my Google document. Okay, I'm going to click print screen. I'm going to open up a PowerPoint. Okay, let's just take a look if I can find that. Here's one. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going just to paste. And there it is. I have a big screen, so mine's tough. Yours probably won't be this big because I have two screens actually at home that are connected. First thing I'm going to do before I want to have to make it manageable. Before I do anything, is I go to the corner. I grabbed it with turning into a compass rose and moved it around. I'm going to find that corner. I'm going to make it smaller because it just make it more manageable for now. I can always make it bigger later. It's really, really need to make it a lot smaller. My, I have such a big screen that I keep dragging it so I can get it into my little canvas area here. Again, it's still so big. Make it a little smaller. I'm almost there. Here, now it can fit manageably into my screen. The next thing I do is I click on, it says Picture Tools on Top Format. When I click on Format, I see the Crop button. When I click on the Crop button, if you notice, these little bars here. See this one here, this one here, and this one here. This is the cropper. So you click until you turn into that bar and you click and hold. And now you kind of align exactly what you want. This is exactly what I want. Go into the bar again. I see how I turn into the bar. And then when I click on it, I turn into a plus sign. Let's see, I missed up. I'll do it again. And I will now click on that. And here's my item. Okay, and I think that's about what I wanted, maybe a little smaller. And now I click on the crop button again, and now it turns into this picture. What you can do now is obviously resize it, make it a little bigger, if you like, like that, so you can see it. And I'm going to right click, oops, I right click again, and you are going to save as picture. It only works on uh, PowerPoint, I don't think it works on Word. You might want to try it on Word. And I'm going to save it somewhere where I'll remember where it is. I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm going to name it for Google Doc pick just name it one big word for a Google Doc pick on my desktop now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly open up a Google Doc uh, let's just go to documents documents are up here and I'm going to say a new document it could be a presentation it could be anything you'd like I'm going to say a uh, just say document for this ease of use I'm going to insert an image. Remember, it was on my desktop. I'm going to choose a file, and it is on my desktop. One tip that I do is I like to use a date modified. I click on date modified, and it should get the most recent picture. It should be up top here, and it is. See, it's 7711. Double click on it. Give it a second here, and it should work, and it does. Here's my picture. And there's how you insert a picture into a Google Doc. Okay, dragging a picture into it is a little uh, more difficult, but uh, that's how I would do it.